Dylan Foreman here, your community sports reporter in San Luis Obispo. I'm here at the Ma Athletic Center outside Cal Poly. As at 2-0 in Big West play, the Cal Poly women's basketball team is off to their best start since the 2016-2017 season. It's still early, but at this point last season, they were 0-2 in conference play and ended with a Big West record of 7-12. Going back even further, their last winning season was in the 2014-2015 season. But now, even though it's a lot of new faces, the team is figuring out how to win. They understand uh, so much better than they did even a month ago about how to close games out. Talking to junior Annika Shaw, it was apparent that this season's loss against Montana on December 16th was a pivotal moment for the team because it was a game they felt they could have won but didn't. And from it, drew lessons that helped them rattle off three straight wins. I think it kind of just goes back to our Montana game. Like obviously we were on the losing end of, of that really tight game and you can just see how much growth there's been just in a couple weeks um, to come out on top in a tight game. So it's, it's kind of about getting over that hump, but we were able to get over that hump really quick and turn around and find things that um, were able to help us out in those tight situations. Immediately once we got back in the practice floor, uh, we just repped all the things that we made mistakes in. The transformation into a balanced, well-oiled machine didn't begin on December 16th, though. It started in the first practices of the season that helped mold the group of returners, transfers, and freshmen. Our coaches always talk about how our practices are harder than games. And we get after it in practice, and it's super tiring, it's super intense. So that, that way when we come to games, it's almost... You know, like, we can do this. And they can do it because they're being pushed. Emotionally, physically, and mentally, and I think those three things are really big and important, and I think everyone is all bought into being challenged, which is really important. Every conference game matters, and there's still 18 more of them left, so really anything can happen. And while they are a long way from a program record of starting conference play 8-0 like the 2010-2011 Mustangs did, it's the early improvement that is a sign of good things to come. For us to see the growth and the maturation of our players and, and to also know that we still have a lot of improvement ahead of us, that's a, that's a good sign, especially here early in January. The Mustangs take on another 6-6 six and six Big West foe when they hit the road to take on Long Beach State as a part of a two-game road stretch. Here at Cal Poly, I'm Dylan Foreman, KSBY Sports.